Hi, I'm Chuck. That's Ben. Oh, you, you can't see him, but he's there. Uh, we're going to talk about the boat. This is our first video, so it's going to suck. So, we're going to start with the mast case. This is the mast case. This piece here hooks over a beam. This piece here hooks over another beam. Here and here and here will go a beam will go a cross beam that will support the deck on the sides. The mast the mast will sit in here and go 30 feet up. And it sits here. This, this is, is beam one. Beam one. And beam two. Okay. Now we have a mast beam. That's this one. It's short. It only goes between the two hulls. It doesn't go through to both sides of the hull. Ma mast sits on this platform. Again, a notch to hold the mast from twisting and, and the 30 foot mast goes up that way. And here's part of the joy of being a uh, warm builder. This beam is set where it's going to be and you can see it goes corner to corner in the trough. The bolts are parallel or the hulls are parallel. Everything's lined up. The beams are plumb and, and level to each other and all that good stuff. And uh, you're just always going to have results like this. Things where it doesn't turn out how you anticipated, and you make it work. Like with these blocks. That one's big. That one practically doesn't exist. You can't even see it. We're going to go up on the house because we can see what's happening. You get to see what, what's going on. This is the starboard hull. That means the right side if you're looking that way. And the left side if you're looking that way. And we go up our easy built stairs. Convenient. Ah. Okay. We built this platform because normally it was that high up and we had to crawl onto it. I'm up on top of the hull. I'll start down here and walk it so you can see maybe the portions. I'm way in here in the tree and I'm walking here and right here is a, is a hatch and uh, it goes uh, for, the, for the forward cabin and this is the, the center cabin in here and hatch. Forward cabin, small cabin up here. So, aft cabin. Aft cabin, sorry, going the wrong way. We, we'll get it right, we hope, later. Okay, beam three. And on beam three will be the pod. And the mast beam sits there, and the pod will be between these. And that's basically the control and steering area and sitting area. <laughs> Don't fall. The other hull obviously has three hatches as well. This is the aft beam. It basically holds the wind vane steering on that, that piece. It may be a platform to walk across to it. Not a whole lot because the rudders and the tillers come swinging through here, so this is not a super usable area, but it's there. And that's roughly where the swim platform goes. Right. And right here will be a solid deck. Uh, 
Well, we haven't decided that yet. Right here will be something, not a big hole. So you got your swim platform. Motor boxes are around the right. Motor boxes. And the motor boxes will sit between the mast beam. These ears are their mounting points on this one. And the mast beam and the uh, uh, beam two. This is the hatch. For the main cabin, it will be hinged here. And hey, we're going to be doing that soon. And this is the main cabin. Okay, here's the main cabin. Very dirty. We got to clean it up. This is where the. Uh, this is my cabin. And then going around, this is the head. And it fits in there. We don't have anything in there yet. And this is the Ford cabin. Poke in there real quick. Hold that, please. Oh, oh, gosh. Turn it upside down, yes. Ah. Ain't much to look at. A little storage underneath what could be a bunk. A couple of shelves. There's most likely going to be a workshop or some sort of tool storage. And here is the uh, aft hatch. Ain't much here. Ugh. Mostly designed for storage. Could sleep somebody, but you see it's not much. But adequate if need be. Okay, now we're gonna go up to the port hull. And we have these fancy steps to get us up here. And take the hatch off. And take the washboard off. And climb into the galley. Here's the galley. This is going to be countertop storage. Yeah, you might have to take the camera. Stove will fit there, and we have shelving here, and sink will be fit there, and I'm backing out into the corner, and there's the countertops and a couple drawers, and the other end of the galley will have a table that folds down right there and you'll be able to sit on those benches and uh, have dinner inside the hull if you want. This is the pod. This sits between the mast beam and beam three. This is, uh, this is not the original design of the pod. This is a modified pod. Uh, that was designed by Budget Boater. So we're calling it uh, the Budge Mod Pot. Going in and see, now all these holes have covers on it, have seats on them. So this will be seating. Sit over here, you can see, aha! And I'll fall in. This has uh, got some drainage holes. This is uh, this is a step to go up, and we'll have a seating area behind the pod. Normally this would call for a, uh, a, a, a watch bunk, small, narrow bunk. We eliminated it, and this will extend over the beam so we can sit here, 
or here, or here, and it, this will seat, I don't know, two, four, six, eight fat people, eight skinny people, three skinny people, two kids, a dog, and a chicken. So over here, this is the steering station. Right here will be mounted the steering mechanism, the wheel, and uh, the, uh, the mast. Show it. Mass beam sits under this lip, and the mass is going to be going through this slot, and actually through that, that will have to be cut out to accommodate the mast. That's basically that. The compass will sit here. We have a nice pinnacle that's going to sit right here, and uh, that's pretty much. There'll be a cover over it, and. Uh, that's the pod. Uh, maybe you can understand it now that you've seen me walking around in it.